but just a few hours ago debrasian gabriel mikhail tigray's president has given a telephonic interview to the cnn uh this is the second appearance of debrasian gabriel mikhail in less than a month viewers last month he appeared on dwtv uh, in an audio interview i informed you about that back then some viewers criticized that the man who was speaking was not debrasian gabriel mikhail but was now cnn has also interviewed debrasian gabriel mikhail he is alive he is speaking in the interviews he called upon joe biden to keep on putting pressure upon ethiopian eritrean governments uh, and he uh, talked about the presence of eritrean troops in tigray about uh, human rights violations uh, mass killings uh, rapes and genocide being committed according to him uh, in tigray region of ethiopia your uh, tigray leaders are continuing in their strategy of uh, Uh, making international community put pressure upon ethiopian eritrean governments because uh, us uh, has issued several statements high level us officials including new secretary of state anthony blinken and others have spoken about human rights violations in tigray and they are calling upon ethiopian and eritrean governments to withdraw Eritrean forces and Amhara regional forces as well from Tigray. This interview was also meant to mobilize international community against Ethiopian Eritrean government. It was five days ago. CNN uncovered a, a civilian massacre by Eritrean troops in Dangelot village of Tigray. Views. Dozens of civilians were killed, according to the report aired by CNN in Dangelot village. Tigrayan spoke about this massacre as well. Uh, Tigray leaders are starting to appear, and they are addressing the national community. Uh, they want the national community to put more pressure upon uh, Ethiopian government for the withdrawal of Ethiopian uh, ENDF Amhara forces and Eritrean forces from Tigray. I think for you.